Oh, Pat, how are you doing? Good. How are you? Why? Good to see you. I'm doing pretty good. Thank you for asking. Um, first of all, thank you for taking time to meet with me. Um, how was your weekend? Weekend was good, man. It was it was nice. Just kind of got to relax at home with the family. Um, just kind of take it easy. You know, it was very nice. Yeah. Did you do anything fun? No, we really just kind of hung out. It was nice to be able to just kind of relax, watch the Cowboys games with the kids. You know, that's always what's important. Yeah. We're, uh, were you a Cowboys fan before you started working there? Yeah, so I was. That's why it's been really cool for me to uh, kind of be able to still, uh, you know, to work with the Cowboys because they they kind of grew up as a Cowboys fan. So it's been very fun to now be a part of the family. That's awesome, dude. Um, just going to be conscious of your time here. Uh, basically, what this meeting is going to consist of is we're going to go over um, kind of who we're sending the product to slash why you want to send it. Um, kind of go along those lines of financials, logistics, kind of figure out what would be best for you. Then uh, I'll make a recommendation and um, and kind of get everything squared away. But how much time are you thinking? Um, do you have a lot for this meeting? Oh, that sounds great. Um, I think about 15 to 20 minutes uh, would be perfect. Awesome. Yeah, we can totally make that work. Um, so I guess just kind of starting off, what would be your main um, kind of purpose for sending out this this gift? Right. So I think for us, we're really focused uh, on internal this, uh, this, this go around. We want to make sure that our employees really feel valued, things of that nature, just making sure that we are retaining our um, you know, kind of our, our talent and making sure they feel valued, knowing that we appreciate the job that they're putting in this season um, and the hard work that we know, um, you know, and the sacrifice that it comes with with that hard work. So we just want to kind of want to give back to some of our employees um, and mm-hmm. just kind of, you know, that's that's the one thing for us. It's about, it's about appreciation. Yeah, totally. Um, so we'll send to your employees. Is there certain uh, employees that you're going to send to? Like, is it only front office employees? Is it all? Yeah. So it's, it's just going to be the people who work in the office here. We're not going to, you know, give it to the people who are, um, you know, working in the stadium and things like that. But a lot of the people who are working here in the front office um, and kind of uh, background personnel here uh, with us. Yeah, totally. Make them feel appreciated. It's always a good thing. We certainly want to come, come and work. Um, I guess my next question would be, do you have any um, certain items that you want in there uh, or anything that you want on a, on the items like i know uh we do a lot of customizations we can put the cowboys logo or put their like last name on there which is a common thing a lot of people do uh we've actually for other teams have put the logos on the box as well as everything they've sent out um so like if you got a say a a thermos we can put the logo on there with somebody's name um i know we also can do video um packaging so we actually had um, for OU, Oklahoma University, we actually sent out some packages to their donors. And when they opened it up, it was a video of them and their most iconic moment in sports history. So it was like really cool for the donors to see like that cool um, kind of fun moment for their um, alumni school. So um, do you have anything that you kind of want to do there or? Yeah, no, that's that, that's great. I think it being customizable like that is, is a fantastic uh, option. I don't think I have anything in mind. I really haven't done, you know, looked too much into what you guys sell and put into those boxes. Um, but I think no matter what, we would love to have the Cowboys logo on there. Uh, just kind of make them feel a little bit a part of the team, especially I like the idea of being able to put people's names on there and things like that. So um, just kind of whatever is going to keep the, the price in the right area um, while making it uh, customized. I think that would be best. All right. Uh... I guess leading into that, um, good transition. What is, what is your budget looking like for, um, I guess each box? Yeah. Uh, I think for us, if we looked at a, at a per box, I know we're, we're going to probably give a, give out a lot of these boxes. So I think for us, it'd be most important to keep it on the, um, maybe 100 to 150 range, um, but probably okay. keeping it more closer to about a hundred, hundred dollars a box. So we do have, um, packages that kind of have like different things in them already um so we can go through and kind of look at that um a little bit later on i guess my next question would be sticking with the logistical side um are you the main decision maker or do you have to have someone else kind of in the loop keep them involved 
No, uh, I'm going to be the main decision maker on this one. I'll kind of uh, see if it's the best fit for us or not. The one person I would say should be included on, you know, any further emails or anything else like that um, is Jane. Um, she's my kind of direct superior. Um, but outside of that, I have, you know, she's given me the full right to decide whether or not this is the, the best uh, option for us. But if we, you know, move into anything like, you know, signing contracts or things like that, as long as she's CC'd on the email um, and can just kind of see what what's going on, that'd be, that'd be perfect. Okay, cool. Um, I guess getting into the gift itself, do you want them to feel like, do you want it to basically uh, be in their home, be a travel item? Do you want them to really feel like it's super customized for them? Do you have any, like, I guess, certain like key drivers that you want in there? Yeah. I mean, I, again, I don't think I have anything specific in mind. I think what I do want it to be is is something high quality or something that will mm -hmm. uh, will kind of last a while and and make sure that it has a Cowboys logo on there. I mean, if you can make it feel as customized as possible, that'd be that'd be fantastic. I think it's obviously hard when you're looking at you know handing out as many boxes as we can to how much can we make that personalized. Um, but I think for us, as long as it's something that that shows we care and kind of is something of higher quality and it's customizable i think that would be uh, the best did you have any you know sort of ideas of things we uh, we could look at doing um yeah there, we have a few different options actually so one of the things we have is we do a lot of customization um with yeti which is one of our main uh things we're one of the i think the only five uh i guess customizers um for lack of a better word that yeti allows to kind of work with them so uh, that would be a really cool one because they don't really make a lot of customized. So if you want something that'll be durable, Yeti's pretty high quality, um, at least when it comes to thermoses, we can make that happen. We also have a lot of um, kind of luxury stuff when it comes to speakers or um, like glassware with like whiskey glasses, wine glasses, um, some travel items that are really nice, high quality, like backpacks or a duffel bag or something like that. If you're looking more of a technology side, we can do um customizable uh i guess charging ports uh, i know that's a pretty common one and that's something that kind of sticks around for a long time uh no one really wants to throw away a charging port because it's really nice to have next to your bedside especially when it has a big cowboys logo um for instance uh does that sound about what you're looking for yeah i think that sounds good as long as yeah those things sound you know durable i like that we can put the cowboys logo on them um those sound like some some good things to, to be looking into Okay. In that case, um, I would probably recommend the Docker Tunes package. Um, I know that has a customizable charger port and customizable speaker. Um, okay. I'd have to double check and see if there's anything else in there, but I'm pretty positive that that might just be um, the only two things in there. Um, do you want to add anything else or does that sound like kind of what you're going so for? How much does that put us at? Uh, that'll be about 115 per box. Okay. And then with the speaker itself, is that, you know, kind of like a larger one? Is it a smaller one? Is there some sort of way that we can make that, you know, blue for the Cowboys or or what is that kind of going to look like? Um, It's definitely a bit, uh, a bit on the smaller side. It can basically kind of fit um like on your backpack. It has like a little clip fits on your backpack okay. or take around. Um. But it's still pretty high quality, I would say. Um, and you can customize that as well as the charging port. So you can basically get the logo or if you want names on there, we can, we can do both. Um, it's whatever you guys um, want. That makes sense. I, I think one thing I do, I, I do like, so you said there were there were two things in the box. So it was the speakers and the, um, what was the other thing? I apologize. The charging port. Yeah, I like, I like the charging port. I don't know if I like so much the speaker is there anything else we could do is there a different is there either a different package we could look into with the charging port or could we substitute out the speaker is there anything like that yeah you can actually do uh either or so i know there are some cheaper options with the charging port that has um some other stuff in it you can also do a um kind of build your own box okay um, i will say depending on what you put in there it might be a little bit pricier than just having the i guess set packages um right. but it really just depends on what you put in there if you want to kick keep with um i guess the charging port which would kind of be like going in your home um i know we have a little bit of a cheaper option 
that has um, other stuff in it. And I can, I can look at one with like glassware and things like that in there that you can keep for things like um, that. I believe so. Um, I would have to double check, but I'm pretty positive that we have. And if not, we can also do the build a box for you. Right. Do you think that if we did a custom box with the speaker and the charging port, do you think that would put us in about the range of the 100, 150 range? If you did a speaker and a charging port? Just the charging port and like, uh, excuse me, like glassware, like if we did wine glasses or something like that. Oh, yeah. I think it would actually be cheaper. The speaker would be the more um, expensive option. So I think okay. I just did um, glass or something like that. I believe it's $70. I just don't remember the name of it, of the exact package, but I can look that up for you and definitely email it to you so that way you know. Um, but I think that'd be around 70 or so. Okay. And then what type of, of, of packaging could you put that in? Um, I'm a little unfamiliar with what you guys do. Like, I, you know, could, is there a way to do the Cowboys logo or anything like that yeah. on there? I, so um, we can do the Cowboys logo. Um, no problem. Um, that's one of our like main things, putting a team's logo on the box. Um, we can do a white box, black box, basically any color you want. Um, we also can put any other logo you want. So if you don't want the Cowboys logo and you want, um, say a slogan or something like that, we can put that on there. Um, and then, as I mentioned with the the video boards, we could do that as well. So we could probably have like Jerry Jones or someone um, saying like, we appreciate all the hard work you're doing. And that would be an extra $50. So if you would like to do just the charge and port and you think the really go out all in the box because people will probably remember that and they would have Jerry Jones's voice, that might also be an option for you. And that would put you at, a, I think, at 100 because the charge and port is, I want to say, depending on which one you get, um, I think it's either 50 or 65. Okay. Yeah, I think I like the idea of doing... Um you know, possibly doing something with the, with the glassware and the, and the charging port and just, um, I think that sounds good though, as long as if we can get the, the box to sort of be customized with the Cowboys logo and even possibly putting just like a logo of family on there or something like that. I think that yeah, we can definitely do that. Um, when it, I guess for the glassware, are you looking more of a thermos or like a whiskey glass, wine glass? I think something nice like like whiskey or wine glasses would be great. Probably whichever is, is, is cheaper between the, the, the glassware, if that makes sense. Okay. Um, in that case, I believe you would have to build a box. Uh, okay. That can check for you on the prices in those. Um, but you should still be in your budget for sure. Okay. That sounds great. Um, I guess if that's the logistics, do you want to get this thing going now? Yeah, I think that sounds like a great idea. Awesome. Um, I'll just need your credit card information and uh, fill out some paperwork and we'll be good to go. Fantastic. And then how would you send over that paperwork? Make sure we can look up, look that over. Um, I'll just send you an email. I can also um, CC Jane if you'd like. Um, but yeah, I'll just send you an email with the paperwork and I can take it down your credit card information now if you'd like, put it in the system. Don't obviously say it, Johnny, but um, yeah, that's where you can do that. No, oh, that sounds great. Awesome. Um, well, I want to be respectful of your time. So that's all I got. If you have any other questions for me, feel free to ask um, or feel free to set up another meeting. And I'd be happy to talk to you again. No, that sounds good. Why? Uh, we appreciate it. And uh, we're kind of glad to be in business with you guys now. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, looking forward to it. And I hope as much as I'm an Eagles fan, but I do hope the Cowboys have a good season. Oh, no. Well, I'm sure it was it was painful for you to say. So we appreciate it. And uh, it was nice talking with you. Yeah, it was nice talking to you, too. Have a good one. You as well. Hi, Lane.